Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, including streaming of Channel 17. And this brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Partly sunny skies for the day today. Base temperatures warming up 46 to 48. We'll see a south-southeast breeze, barely noticeable down here at the bottom, but we will still see those winds increase as the day goes on, so be aware of that. We may see some wind holds. Summer temperatures topping out in the mid-30s. For the day on Wednesdays, we'll see some showers in the area. Looks like we could see a little bit of rain, 48 to 50 for your base temperatures. Maybe be a preview of some spring skiing, soft snow out there. And then things will cool down sharply, and we could see a couple inches of accumulation of snow on the backside of that system as it moves through with that cold front. For Thursday, we'll see partly sunny skies. It will be windy out there, so make note of that. A high of only 19 degrees, and then things warm back up for the weekend, and we're back to partly sunny skies and warmer temperatures. Temperatures as you can see Saturday up into the upper 40s. For your trail report, <clears throat> brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Check them out in Village West or online at birchwoodinteriors.com. 64 groomed trails, eight lifts getting you to 109 trails that are open and loose granular and packed powder surfaces. The skiing and riding is great, so get out there and take advantage of it. As far as your lifts, first thing this morning, Snubber and Skidway will move you around the base area and below the base area. They get going at 8.30. Skyline and Super Quad get you to the mid-mountain terrain at 8.30, and you can pretty much branch out everywhere from there. King Pine and Whiffletree over on the east side of the mountain those to get going at 9 a.m and 9 a.m for timberline winds and weather permitting remember those winds are forecasted to increase throughout the day bucksaw express gets going at 8 30 to service all that new fun terrain over there as far as schedule grooming last night they got white nitro wedge gondola line from the top timberline bridal chain tote road uh, competition hill will have some race training on it lower comp and king's landing hayburner narrow gauge spillway and sluice as well all smoothed out on the east side hallback widowmaker flume and ram down lower on the east side off Wiffle Tree, the Wiffle Tree Slope, Two Hall Cruiser, Rollway, and Slasher. And on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Lower Glancer, Horseshoe, and West Mountain, as well as Chipper, Bucksaw, and all of the new trails over on the west side as well, all smoothed out. And Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook. The terrain parks are in great shape as well. Just please take a run through before you hit any of the features and make note of the new uphill route. Find the details at sugarloaf.com on the daily report. The Outdoor Center, they are good to go for today, but tomorrow with the warm and wet weather, they will be closed uh, to preserve the trail surfaces down there so take note of that and same goes for the Carabasset Valley fat bike trails wet and warm weather is on the way so conditions will deteriorate so maybe just stay off there to preserve the trails as well uh, some thin cover out there and Casey's Creativity Center if you're looking for something to do tonight open pottery studio from 5 30 to 7 30 no experience needed just call to make a reservation so she knows you're coming and uh, it's a great opportunity for another great activity here in the valley the quad cam if you're looking to see exactly what's happening at the bottom of the mountain in real time check it out and check us out Tons of ways to watch. Channel 17, as well as over at the hotel, you can find it at Channel 17. You can find us streaming at WSKITV.com, the Spectrum app, as well as Roku. And don't forget to check us out on social media. And our live mountain reports continue this weekend, 7.30 to 9 a.m., Saturday and Sunday, all winter long, with the info to know before you go.